Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to a new episode of StarCraft. Today, we're going to be getting the Zerg campaign, and because the first two missions are likely to be rather short, this episode will almost certainly have multiple missions in it. Um, and we're going to be doing that because I want to give you guys videos as close to an hour long as possible, if not longer. So that's why we're doing them five times a week. And it's only one game per day. So that's the plan anyway. Um, I had to start on this screen, by the way, because of the way I have OBS set up. Um, and I'm not going to bother you with the details, but we are going to go click on the Zerg campaign. The swarms have crushed the meager human resistance to lay waste to nine of the 13 Terran worlds, shortly after the fall of the Terran capital world of Tarsonis, the main Protoss leader blend of the Terran sector. Now you must wipe out the remaining Protoss forces. The Zerg will play very, very differently than the Terrans do, as you'll see when we play through. And we'll just click so we can get through. Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am the Overmind, the eternal will of the Swarm, and that you have been created to serve me. Awesome. Behold that I shall set you amongst the greatest of my celebrants, that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Yet your purpose is unique. While they carry forth my will to the innumerable broods, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For I have found a creature that may yet become the greatest of my agents. Even now, it resides within a protective chrysalis, awaiting its rebirth into the swarm. You must watch over the chrysalis and ensure that no harm comes to the creature within it. Go now, and keep safe my prize. Okay. Um, we're gonna stop on the briefing screen just so I can explain how the Zerg work, because this is again something that came from the manual, and if you haven't read the manual, you won't understand it. Um, so the Zerg are led by a single mind called the Overmind, which controls the activities of all the broods. But because the Zerg are so large, and there's so many Zerg, he created something called Cerebrates. And Cerebrates are kind of like commanders. If the Overmind is the general, the Cerebrates are the commanders. Um, and they use their psionic links to ensure complete dominance over things. And things will change, and you'll see why that's different. But I just wanted to make sure you guys understood how the Zerg actually work in a kind of a universe-type setting. The hatchery is the heart of any Zerg colony. Hi, Dagon. It spontaneously generates larva, which in turn are used to spawn your various warriors and minions. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. Spawn more overlords. So Zerg work completely differently from Terrans. Drones are pretty much the same as SCVs, but when you make a building, the building actually goes, this drone goes away. Um, they also have something called overlords. Remember how I said in the beginning that, um, Overlords provide control. Yes, I'm making an overlord. Shut up, Dagoth. Your forces grow I'm talking here. Number. You must hatch more overlords to control them. You have enough minerals. Select a lava and mutate it into an overlord. So here's an overlord. Um, overlords fly, they're detectors, and with some upgrades, they can actually carry units. So this is the equivalent of a supply depot for a Terran. To create new warrior strains, you must generate the very I know, which is why I'm making a drone. Shut up. The drones themselves mutate into these structures. Yet be careful. Never use your last drone to make a building. So, as I mentioned in an earlier version, one of my favorite things to do as the Zerg, um, when you unlock the burrow ability, is hide a drone in a remote corner of the map. So that even if your base is obliterated, you still can't be destroyed because you can just rebuild the base. Um, 
Right, they want us to build... We need a spawning pool for Hydralisk Den, so we're gonna just wait and build up Toledo's spawning pool. Spawning pools let us make Zerg lanes. Um, so the Zerg built... Now, order your drone to become a spawning pool. I can. Spawning pools are 200 minerals. I don't have you enough. notice that structures can only implant themselves upon the creep. That's this creepy purple stuff. I'm sorry, the creep is creepy. You can make creep colonies to extend the creep. But only a hatchery can be built upon open ground. Um, all of the Zerg structures and units are organic, which means they all actually heal over time. It takes a really, really long time. Here are some Zerglings. Hi, Zerglings. We'll eventually need um, some Vespine to build Hydralisks. I would like all of you to be grouped. So Zerglings are your basic combat unit. They do less damage than Marines, but they're really, really fast, and you can build lots of them very, very quickly. Overlord's also really great for scouting, but right now I don't want to risk one. You can also build three Overlords at a time. Um, which means it's very easy to expand your production very quickly. Notice that they're very, very slow. Later in the game, you can get upgrades that'll make them faster. And there's our spawning pool, and we can research faster Zerglings. Alright, we're gonna need gas. So that's going to be our next party, because we can't build a Hydralisk den without gas, I don't think. Let me check. Yeah, we need gas. Yes, I am Zaz. I too am a Cerebrate of the Overmind. I have located a small band of Terrans who could threaten the Chrysalis and the Hive Cluster. You must not allow them to leave here alive. By the way, Dagoth kind of lied to us just a tiny bit earlier. Um, you can also build refineries on open ground. I actually would like to build a second colony. So all creep clusters can be mutated into either ground defense, which is a second colony, or air defense, which is the um, other thing that I can't remember. Spore colonies, that's what they're called. We're going to make some more zerglings here in a second. So Zerglings are awesome because each egg produces two, which means it's very easy to build lots and lots and lots of Zerglings. Hence the phrase Zerg Rush. Okay, we'll get ourselves some gas. And as soon as we get the gas, we are going to want faster Zergling movement. There you go. Bam! Six more Zerglings. We just increased our attack forces by 50%. And all it took was three larvae. It's really easy to swarm people with the Zerg. Alright, let's take this group as like an advanced group and just have them kind of scout a little bit. Plus we'll get kind of a feeling for Zerg combat. Oh no, fire bats. This is bad. We are not great against fire bats. And so we lost the six Zerglings, which seems kind of disappointing. We can make six more, like, right now. But we're not going to. We have a better use for our resources. The Hydralisk Den. We could actually use a sunken colony, like, right up here. Just as a way to kind of just cover this patrol route. We have this one here, I guess that's something. Yeah, fire bats are the one thing as a Zerg we have to be afraid of because fire bats do extra damage to organic units. Everything the Zerg have is, has is organic, including the buildings. Um, the buildings heal, which is cool. 
but let's actually... I love doing this. We've got so many resources right now. Let's make three more overlords. Oh, we are going to want Hydralisk attack range upgrades. Actually, before we have Hydralisks, almost. Come on. There we go. Let's do some scouting with our Zerglings. I don't want you guys to get too bored, and if I just sit here and build up structures... The Hive Cluster is under attack. Sneaky little shit. Go murder them in the face. Bye, Marines. Bye, Marines. We lost a Zergling. And because we produce Zerglings so quickly and so cheaply, who cares if you lose a couple? So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get. 48 Zerglings, probably, and 24 Hydralisks. That's probably more than we need, actually. Maybe I can do with just 12 Zerglings, or 24 Zerglings, and, uh, and 12 Hydralisks. Now, every Zerg attack is going to take losses, and you have to accept that. Especially with Zerglings, because Zerglings are so squishy. Um, give me another Hydralisk, please. Now, Hydralisks, on the other hand, are better than Marines. They're basically like Super Marines, is how you should think of them. They attack quite quickly, um, they've got pretty decent damage, and very good range when you upgrade it, which we're working on, which is good. Um... Do we want faster Hydralisk movement? When I have a really bad cold, I can sound almost exactly like Hydralisk. It's one of my smaller gifts. Um, I would really like to gain more gas. We're actually going to make a drone. I know it's boring, but we need something else. In case you're wondering, can Zerg upgrade like their attacks like the Terrans can? Absolutely. Um, that comes from an evolution chamber, which I don't believe we can have in this mission. Oh, we can. Okay. Let's get you to action. I'll actually build... I will build another drone just for that purpose. Um, and we'll make an evolution chamber. I also want to build a creep colony out here. Just to connect everything together. Um, so the creep, everything has to be built on the creep, as it said in the game. Um, as What's-His-Face said earlier. Um, give me the evolution chamber first, and then we'll come back later on and make a new drone. Um, in the early stages of StarCraft, before they released some patches, they actually had kind of an unfair advantage, or the Zerg had an unfair penalty. Um, because every single structure costs a drone... Making them as expensive as Terran or Protoss structures actually made they were more expensive. You had to pay for the drone, too. Now, later on in the game, they realized how unfair this was, and they adjusted it. So an, an evolution chamber now costs total as much as a... Um, what your jigger does. I'm sorry. My brain isn't working right now. Here we go. Some more hard lists are on the way. Um, costs as much as an engineering bay does. So here you go. We can increase melee, we can increase missile, we can increase carapace. I know everything the Zerg have sounds really, really gross, and there's not much I can do about that, because that's just the Zerg. That's the Zerg for you. They're gross. More hydrolysis. Now you'll notice, look at that, it's ticking up. It's getting stronger. Now they do a lot of damage to sunken colonies, but they fire very, very slowly. And that's their downside. They don't fire quickly enough to give you a good consistent rate of fire. Excellent, Hydralisk upgrade. Let's get the faster Zerglings and then we'll start working on the other upgrades. I also need to start just making more stuff. Uh, we need 150 for six more Zerglings. Which is so that's what we're waiting on right now. Or 
know what? Let's go and upgrade uh, Carapace. Require more Vespine gas. Oh, you require more Vespine gas. There we go. We probably can't take the. Ooh. Actually, I'll tell you what we can do. So the Zerg are one of the are one of the races that really, really needs to expand to new locations. Um, because you're gonna find that what keeps you from building more units more often than anything is um, lack of resources. So we're actually gonna build a hatchery up here as soon as we can. Um, so let's build a drone. And a Zerg hatchery is, I believe, 350. But a hive has the highest um, HP of any structure in the entire game. Hatcheries can uh, upgrade twice. And we'll actually go and unlock it. No, we won't unlock it for real. How much is a hive? Hatchery is 300. Let's get you up here. Plus, the only way you can build more units is to have more hatcheries. Because you can otherwise you can only build three units ever at a time. Or six units for Hydralisks, and, uh, or for six for Zerglings and um, Scourge, which we won't get into in this mission, I don't think. I don't think we'll have any Scourge to worry about. We don't have any air units anyway, so Scourge wouldn't actually matter to us. Come on, perfect. So we build a new hatchery, and that lets us build six units every tick instead of just three. And it really makes, uh, it makes sense to expand as quickly as you can as the Zerg. There's almost no downside. Pretty much every Zerg structure is pretty robust, actually, especially compared to Terra. Now we're gonna sit here and watch this tick up to 60. There it goes. Um, and again, this is what makes it useful this is actually one of the things, you know, we'll go and unlock it now. Um, yeah, let's build some more hybrids, actually. I want more hyperlists. We need 225 to build three. You could easily spend all 200 supply on Zerglings, um, but it's not as good as you think. Later game units, just eat them alive. But there's nothing better in StarCraft against a siege tank than than Zerglings. Because each tanks can't hit anything right next to them if they're in siege mode. And they're really slow. Really slow. I actually really like the Zerg music, too. Some of the Terra music is pretty good, too, but the Zerg music is actually my favorite. got the cool little metal to it, and it sounds very mysterious. I like it. So what am I making a drone for? We're going to build a creep cluster right here. Excellent. Let's get improved missile attacks to make the Hydralisks better. Um, so now this means that they will take less damage. Now, I mean, one isn't going to do a lot, but it's still better than nothing. And then go and make a creep colony. This is going to cover us, by the way. If we decide to attack from a different angle, this should help us defend the base. That's the goal, anyway. I'm actually going to want some more drones to get more minerals, actually. <laughs> And I need 50 to make a sucker come. I would build a sport colony, but we're just not going to need it. Um, I don't think the Terrans have any air units in this mission, and if they do, they're not going to be very many of them. Some of the drones are going to do something boring. It's going to make minerals. Which 
Which I know isn't the exact kind of thrill rod that you're looking for with the Zerg, but again, it's just really important that you have a constant supply of resources, because that's what lets you create gigantic armies in like a few seconds. And the Zerg are mostly about speed. I'm not playing, I'm actually playing the Zerg, I actually play the Zerg a little bit slower than most people do. That's just the way I play. Um, and it's one of the reasons I do terribly with Zerg in multiplayer. When I used to play multiplayer quite frequently, I would get destroyed as a Zerg because I'm so passive when it comes to playing them. Um, it's a failing. But I think as soon as we get 12 Hydralisks, I think we're going to make this happen. Um, I don't think I'm going to wait and build the extra um, Zerglings. I just don't think it's going to help us as much. I think Zerglings get bonus damage against buildings. Um, if you find, like, there's, like, charts and stuff, because it's not it's something they actually hide in the game, it's not always clear what people are good at and what they're not good at. Come on, my Hydralisk friends. How are these guys healing? Where are the rest of the Hydralisks? There they are. Okay. Oh, they do actually have very units, or they could. Of course, that's what hydralisks are for. Get out of there, Zerg. I'm just going to have the Hydralis just kind of hang out here for a bit. We're going to get some more Zerglings. Right, we're going to get 12 more Zerglings. Bam. Two hatcheries for the win. Hello, Overmind. So our first batch of Zerglings is done. There we go. We're gonna send you up here. If we need more gas for some reason, there's a gas uh, Vespine geyser right there. But honestly, as soon as the rest of the Zerglings get here, we're gonna start kicking ass. Here they come. Honestly, just for bigger maps, it's worth upgrading their speed just for that purpose. Go, my Zerglings. Go murder things. We're sending the Zerglings in first because we're going to send in the Hydralisks. You have to micromanage a Zerg a tiny bit more. Just something like making sure you kill Wraiths quickly because Zerglings can't stop them. That'll basically end this mission for in all practical senses. This one hard to describe feels so lonely. He's like, I'm gonna attack the supply depot by myself, damn it. Don't worry, we'll bring your friends over. Oh, 
Our mission isn't over with yet, which means there's probably more structures that we need to attack. Or more units. And as we established before, we actually have to kill all the units on the map, not just. Um. Oh, how about you guys had a second base? You sneaky little bastards. Victory! 22 minutes. Honestly, I probably could have finished that one in about half that. Um, yeah, this is the problem with the Zerg. You're always going to take losses, especially Zerglings. And that's why you get so many Zerglings. Because you can't... I would defy any player to play a single-player Zerg mission and not lose a single Zergling. It can't be done. Um, losing Hydra List is much easier to avoid, but Zerglings, you can't do anything and there we go. Good deal. We're just going to, I guess, I said before, we're just going to continue um, until we hit the hour mark or roughly the hour mark, and then we'll stop from there. I am well pleased, young Celebrate. And so long as my prize remains intact, I shall remain pleased. Thus, its life and yours shall be made as one. As it prospers, so shall you. For you are part of the swarm. If ever your flesh should fail, that flesh shall be made anew. That is my covenant with all Cerebrates. Now you have grown strong enough to bear the rigors of warp travel with the Swarm. Thus we shall make our exit from this blasted world and secure the chrysalis within the Hive Cluster upon the planet Char. Remnants of the Protoss fleet still linger within this planet's orbit. They will attempt to block our exodus at every turn. My brood shall aid you, Cerebrate, should you require assistance. Now, the other thing about Cerebrate. Cerebrates are effectively immortal because the Overmind can create a new one when the old one dies. We get Mutalisks this time. And we get Hunter Killers! They do twice as much damage. Hunter killers are amazing. I love hunter killers. I want them all to be my friends. Um, right. Minerals, minerals. Do with my minions as you will, Cerebrate. They will serve you unquestioningly. Go now, and bring swift wrath to all who would oppose the swarm. This time we started off with uh, two hot bosses. That's pretty really cool. Make me some more drones. Make me some more drones. We're gonna get, we're gonna get three of these to work on this Vespine. Um, I love Hunter Killers because they do twice as much damage and they're twice as strong as regular Hydras. And you only get them as special units. You can never build them yourself. Okay, mine, mine. Extractor, there we go. Technically? No, actually, yeah. Extractors are a little bit more expensive, which is unfortunate, but... And I do actually want three more drones just so we can afford them. Just so we can keep up the mineral supply. So this mission we get Mutalisks and Zer Scourge unlocked, both of which are very, very helpful for different reasons. As we'll see here in a moment. I'll show you them. I'm waiting for the last bits of minerals so I can build three more drones. So Mutalisks do nine damage. They can hit air and ground units, but their worm bounces. So the first time it does nine damage, second time it does six damage, third time it does three damage. I think that's how that works. Um, I could be wrong on the exact numbers. Uh, you go up there and get gas. And you come down here and get mining. Okay. So what do we have to work with? We have a spawning pool, and that's it. So our first... Let's go and get a sunken colony. Hello, zealots. 
Three Hydralisks took it down, but this one is pretty much dead. Um, there we go. So we can, oh, we can upgrade them into layers. We do need to do that because layers are what create spires, not spires. Yes, actually spires. I was actually right for once. I'm sorry, I'm so used to being wrong that when I'm right, I can't handle it. Um, give me some Zerglings. I will call them group two, and the Zerglings will be group three. We haven't had a lot of time to talk about the Protoss, because we haven't fought them very much as the Terrans. Um, so we'll see how that turns out a bit later on. So our objective in this mission is actually just to go from here to here with a drone. Because only a drone can carry it. Once this is done, we will start work on... Actually, we can make the drone now. Alright, here you guys get out of the way. Don't you burrow. While they're burrowed, they can't be targeted. They're considered hidden, which means only detectors can find them. And I don't know if this is true in StarCraft 1, it is in StarCraft 2. They peel faster when they're burrowed. But that part I don't know of for sure. I just like burrows, because it, it's such a tactically interesting way to handle the game that it's actually really helpful, or at least it can be. Okay, let's give me a drone so I can get that Hydralisk done made. Hello, Glaveworm. We're going to use one of the Mutalisks to scout a bit and just see what we can find. See if there's maybe, like, other mineral clusters. Oh, there's Zealots there. We could kill them pretty easily. Because Zealots can't attack air units. Because eventually we're going to find out that they have Dragoons, and that's going to be problematic. So our goal for this map, I think it's going to be 24 Zerglings, 12 Hydras, and 12 Mutalisks. Oh crap, they have Dragoons. Run away, little Mutalisk. You can help reveal more of the map as you go past. And Photon Cannons, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Eh, you gave your life for the Swarm. That's what you're here for. Uh, Hydralisk Den, please and thank you. Let's go and build our next batch of Zerglings, actually. This will be group four. I want to get you guys out of the way so I don't inadvertently select you. Here we go. There's our Hydralisk Den. Let's make you into a layer so we can get a spire bill. We lost a Hydralisk. That's unfortunate. Let's build your replacement right now. Alright, other Mutalisk. Let's get you down here. Oh, wow. They have a base like right here. No, no, no. The shit are you doing, you idiot? Poor Zealot is confused and literally doesn't know what to do. So I'm just gonna spin around in circles for a while. Like when uh, like when Homer's learning how to coach football by playing electric football. Tells the kids, you spin around real fast. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on, buddy. Two more, and we can build three more Hydralisks. Bam. Ah! Uh, I forgot about Overlords. Damn it. Alright. Make two of them. Damn it. I had it all figured out. Let's 
Zerger, your games are so cheap. Let's get some, let's have some fun. Okay, we've lost this particular fight. Let's get out of here. Well, I mean, we've won, but we can. Alright. We've got our new overlords. Can we get the overlord upgrades? We can. That's fine. I do actually want an, and actually, let's make another drone. I want an evolution chamber. And then the next thing we're going to upgrade. Just like with uh, Terrans, the first thing you always want to upgrade is marine range. In this case, the Hydralisks, you want spine range. Uh, spires are kind of expensive, but we do need them. Because they do have air units. Poor Zergling. I kind of feel bad for the little guy. Um, right. We'll actually take a moment out. I did want to do an evolution chamber because I also want to build um, spore colonies. Because eventually the, the Protoss will attack us with scabs. And Hydras can take down scouts easily enough, but I'd also like to have a couple spore colonies. Maybe just like one. And I don't like that we haven't found another base yet. That's somewhat disturbing. Alright, need to go scouts. Scourge are also really good for scouting too. Um Why don't you build some Scourge in this one in this level? Damn hydro list. Now let's go ahead and get to the carapace upgrade as soon as we can. Actually, we should be. No, I take that back. We actually should be working on the spire. Once we get uh, a decent large number of metalisks, then we'll be, I think, in shape to attack before too much longer. There you go. Can you give me a spire, please. I wouldn't object to like two more creep clusters either. Those resources are probably better used on building units. I haven't found another place to build a unit to get minerals and gas and stuff yet. That's somewhat problematic, actually. <laughs> At least a little bit. Eh, faster Zerglings isn't that important in this map. I mean, all we're really trying to do is just clear out as much as we can, so that we can then later on um, move a drone up and drop off the Chrysalis. So, we don't necessarily need, like, the biggest group, but I do want enough Hydras that we can handle um, air units. And enough mutas to add a little bit of support there, too. Let's go ahead and get 
carapace to make our ground units tougher. It's not going to make a huge amount of difference against a Protoss, I'll be honest with you. The Protoss are very, very tough individually. Um, a Zealot does like 12 damage with each strike. Something like that. Like, a fully upgraded Zealot can kill Zerglings in a single hit. I mean, they're Zerglings. That's not as impressive as it might sound, but... It's still not good. <laughs> Spires are also where you upgrade um, your air units. There we go. As you can see here, fire attack, fire carapace. Let's build some Scourge. And then once uh, we get enough minerals, we'll build some more Mutalisks too, actually. Actually, you know what? We're only what? Yeah, let's build some hybrids. As soon as we get enough, this will give us a full complement as well. Hi, Scourge. So, Scourge are a suicide unit, but they build as quickly as their opponents. And they are the single best counter in the game to battle cruisers and carry. Oh no, you killed a Scourge. I can make two more in like eight seconds. Here we go. And I did say I wanted some Mutalisks, so that's the only reason I'm somewhat hesitant. I'm gonna make you zero, and if we get like a scout attacking us or something, we'll use you guys to bring down the scout. We're almost strong enough. Actually, we're kind of strong enough to attack now. Let's do it. Unburrow, please. I really wish that, especially with the Zerg, that like a select all button, and they were just like, go kill all the things. <laughs> we're going yeah, we're going through Zerg pretty quickly. If you put the photon pan in, those can almost kill Zerg. I'm actually going to want some more Zerglings here before some more come here. I might just ignore Mutalisks for this mission. Mutalisks don't offer a lot of striking power. No Zerg ones left, they're all dead. Let's go back to base. A job well done, everyone. Let's make some more Zerglings before we go into another fight. I'm actually pretty pleased with how well that went. Um, let's upgrade, we can upgrade Carapace again. Let's upgrade uh, Melee Attacks to make Zerg a little bit better. Zergling, sorry. I mean, I guess it does make the whole Zerg better. Do we have hard to lose movement? No, we don't. Let's do that too. We lost 24 Zerglings, but against the Protoss, those are losses I'll accept. I will happily accept those losses. Let's get the faster Zerglings, too. Now, notice that's only for movement. Um, there is another ability you can unlock later on that'll actually increase their attack speed. And that's really good, too. I 
Now there is one bit of good news. We can actually lose the chrysalis. It can't be destroyed. If you kill the drone carrying it, you seem to bring up another drone. Let's send you... I'm just going to send you in this direction, and you'll get shot down by something, and I won't care. We need to hit this base. This is where they're making the units. That's our next target. Oh, hello. And here's where their nexus is. So yeah, that's this is going to be our next target. We're going to take this part down first, this mini base, and then we're going to try to hit their main base. What am I actually waiting for? Upgrades? More serve lanes. That's what I was waiting for. Another group of serve lanes. You guys go over there. They also have twice as many hit points, which makes them, again, even more awesome. Good. Zerg eggs have a shit ton of hit points. It's actually kind of hard to kill a Zerg egg. And again, that's one of those things that they made intentionally for balance reasons. Right. I would like to move up. Look at all that green on the mini-map. It's amazing. Alright guys, Zerglings are supposed to take the forefront, so they will. You guys, the Hydralists are going to come back and get too far back because they are more vulnerable. Everybody back to base. There we go. We're just going to send you guys back up to base. Where the fuck are you going? I think you're drunk. That's my guess, anyway. Rule number one of playing as a Zerg, you can always get more Zerg on. Well, let's... Just for fun, I think we'll build some Mutalisks, and we'll bring them into battle on this one here, too. Please go back. could just go straight for the objective. Let's grab a drone. I mean, I'm sure you'd probably enjoy watching me destroy the Protoss, but we also it's not going to be very really difficult. Oh, the Hunter Killers are in the way. There you go. We're going to research the Burrow ability so that in an emergency, um, I can bury hit Burrow in and then Or group no. Oh, 
Oh wow, there's like oh that's the same minerals we had in the beginning. Never mind. What the hell is the drone? Our forces are under attack. Honestly, Zerglings make pretty good scouts too, if I'm honest with you. There we go. You guys should get out of my frickin' way. Come on, guys. Prepare yourself, Cerebrit. Your first jump through warp space could be unsettling. Yes. There we go. I think we'll do one more mission. Um, that'll be the last one we do. Check out my APM this time. 23. That's better than I usually get. I lost 52 units. That's Zerglings for you against Protoss. That's Zerglings for you. The New Dominion. Behold the power of that which is yet unborn. For the swirling images that flow forth from the chrysalis are only a shadow of the sleeper's true power. The psionic emanations of the chrysalis have reached out into the depths of space and lured our enemies to us. Even now, we are aware of their plans. Alright, all squadrons close formation. Escape for hostiles. Emperor Arcturus believes that there's Zerg out here, so it's our job to flush them out. I don't want any slip-ups this time. We'll show these critters that they can't run through the territory. Engage the Terran forces with care. Your priority is to protect the Chrysalis at all costs. Okay, so there's the chrysalis. Please mine, please mine. We start with the spawning tool and the hydralisk den. This is a very good start. So first step is going to be to get more drones. Let's send a needle disc out to do some scouting. We are going to need to find... Some more minerals at some point in the near future. That's a fake Vespian geyser. Oh, hello! There's a very small base there, but there's a base there. Go mine. With the Zerg, um, because the Zerglings themselves generally don't last long, it's important that you get gas as quickly as you possibly can. Because you'll need them for hydrolisks. Um, and there will come a point in every Zerg campaign. Or you'll be thinking to yourself, maybe I should just be spending less money on Zerglings and spend them all on Hydralisks. Um, and this is actually a very fair strategy, and it's one I've adopted myself from time to time. Because it's really, really helpful to have them. Um, I should send you this way, actually, and make sure it's not like Terran's just like waiting for us outside here. We did accomplish our main objective, which was to find a new place to expand to. Which almost the crystals there are very, very small. I'm gonna bring you guys.
guys over here. That's a really bad trade for us. Um, those are expensive. Mutalisks are. Give me three more drones. I'm gonna build um because the meat because the chrysalis is important. I'm gonna build a sunken colony here and here, and then we're gonna put one like right here. So normally I don't spend a lot of time building fixed defenses, but we do have a fixed position, and this isn't like earlier where we could just say, "Oh, it's fine. We'll just build a new drone." That's not going to fly here. We probably actually need more people getting minerals too, if I'm honest with you. I think we'll build one more group of three drones when we get the minerals. I wish I knew if there's like more... Is that Mutalisk? No, that Mutalisk died, didn't it? Alright. I need you to scout. Forces are under attack. That's one reason I don't like Mutalisks very much. They're just too easy to kill. Um, for the amount of resources it takes to kill a building Mutalisk, the Glaive isn't that useful. There's a fair number of minerals here. And there's a Gas Geyser. Colony, please. Creep colony. This is when I'm focusing on, like, say, establishing a new base farther north. I can know with comfort that I have protection so that I can get people down here if I need to. This will actually kill Marines um, in one hit, unless their uh, their armor is upgraded. We get more of the lovely creep. We need more minerals, and so priority number two here is going to be to build more drones so we can make that happen. But we really need to spend the minerals. I don't regret at all building, spending the minerals to defend this a little bit more strongly. I don't think you give me any new units for this one, do you? I'm trying to remember. Are lurkers? Yeah, lurkers are um, brood war. They're not base starcraft, I don't believe. Personally, I never found lurkers to be that great because it involves costing you a hydralisk, and hydralisks are fucking awesome. But, you know, they're not bad. And there is actually, there is actually a real legitimate reason to use lurkers. Um, but that'll be something I can't really talk about right now because we won't get we won't get lurkers in base starcraft. That's a horse unit. Um, go forth and gather minerals, my new drone friends. Okay, as soon as we get enough minerals, we're gonna build some zerglings, just six, and then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna clear this part out. Actually, I would like to let's research the rolling. Boring lets me leave units somewhere without losing them, because I, well, they'll probably have a commsat, but they won't know that they're there to use the commsat unless something tips them off. Um, <clears throat> in multiplayer, of course, this is a little bit different, because you have a semi-unfair advantage in multiplayer in that if you send a siege tank somewhere, you're like, why can't I go there? There must be zerglings there, or something burrowed, and then you can... Comet and whatever can be buried there. 
Um, that's obviously not the case in a in Space Starcraft because the AI would basically be cheating at that point. Um, cheating after a fashion, maybe not really cheating. Maybe cheating is the wrong word. So we're gonna send this motley group up to wipe out the small Terran force that's up there. And we're going to do this slowly, because otherwise the Mutalisks will go up there by themselves. I think we just unlocked Burrow. Yeah, fully upgraded Zerglings are very fast, but they're actually slower than Mutalisks, so they're not fully really upgraded. Oh crap, we had the same idea at the same time. Oh, this is really bad. Bro. That's the other reason Bro's really handy. Uh, they can save your bacon in a pinch. You gotta build more freaking drones to get gas harvested. That was not worth what happened. That was not worth clearing out this little army here. God damn it. Stupid Terrans. Always tearing it up. I regret nothing. Alright, so we'll have two more harvest gas and that'll be enough to get our supplies back on top. Yeah, we really need a new creep cluster here now too. Thank goodness for that creep cluster though. If it hadn't if we hadn't had one, those firebats could have wiped out the entire base. So, that was good. And this will be enough to get us a consistent solution of gas. And then we, be, we can begin building other things. Where the hell are you going? Oh, mine gas. We've got quite a few minerals now. I actually don't mind building another sunken colony here. That would make my life a little bit easier. But our next major goal is actually going to be to build, like, let's say 12 Hydralisks, and then we're going to go up here and we're going to build our second base. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. I think we lost all of our um, Mutalisks, didn't we? Yeah, we have four Zerg, four Hydralisks, and two Zerglings. That was a pretty bad... That was ill-timed. Uh, let's increase the attack range on Hydralisks and the speed of Zerglings. That was really bad timing. We both side attack each other at the exact same minute. Oh well. We did what we wanted to, which is clear that area out. Okay, and you are now mutated. Give me some hydralisks. Yeah, I want enough hydralisks that anything other than a major assault will protect this base. And that will mean 12. Five more Zerg or five more Hydralisks is what we're looking for. Do I have two larvae or three? I think I only have two. 
We'll wait for the third one. Like, the really, the really awesome StarCraft players know exactly how many seconds it takes to make a new Larva. I don't know that. Could use an evolution chamber, actually. Let's go for the faster Hydralisks, though. That'll be very helpful. This is going to be one of the more challenging missions, and that's one of the things I like about the later campaigns in StarCraft. They recognize you already know what you're doing, or you wouldn't have gotten as far as you did without a lot of luck or cheating. Um, and so they don't treat you like, you know, they give you the more difficult stuff right away. I would actually argue the Zerg campaign is actually the hardest one in the base StarCraft. Um, Protoss 10 is a nightmare. But the rest of the Protoss campaign is actually not as difficult. Maybe that's just for me, though. Um, I really like the Protoss, and I think they're an interesting race to play. So maybe it's less of a burden on me than it might be on a different player. That's a possibility. There we go. Hydralisk's done. Okay. All right, let's get you to build. Anything we find on the way, I want to be dead. Very dead. Actually, I was going to use the drone for an evolution chamber, but it makes more sense to for the hatchery up here. I don't know if they do actually heal faster when they're burrowed, I'm not sure. Alright guys, let's get you out of the way. That's as close as we can get the new hatchery. That's fine. I don't mind that. So unless they have drop ships, and I don't think they do, the only way they can hit me here will be to either go through this or the hydralisks or to yeah, attack me this way. Okay. Yep, and this is healing though. So that's good. Um let's get an evolution chamber. Let's merge you mutate you into a layer so we can get mutalisks. Mutalisks are really good on mass. Like so many other Zerg units. But they're kind of crappy on their own. But if you can get 12 of them and they're all bouncing their worm thingy from person to person, they can be really tough. Um, no question. We need some overlords, actually. do with this base in the short term. A sunken colony like at the edge would be a really good idea. And again, with Zerg, the point isn't like it is with Terrans, where you can defeat entire attacks with strong fixed defenses. It's about buying you time to get your units back. 
Which is why the speed upgrades are almost always worth it. There's my abortion chamber, always go for the carapace. Uh, creep colony, please. I'm gonna make a couple more runs. And you guys are gonna start harvesting minerals. I'll wait on the gas. I think there's like a load more gas in here. We're not gonna run out of that this map. I actually wouldn't mind building another hatchery down here just so we can get more units built. Build like 36 zerglings in a single second. We're not going to have that many, I don't think, but good. Yeah, build me another hatchery actually. Hatcheries also do produce creep, but they don't produce, uh, they also produce creep. Actually, they produce more than a, um, what you Okay, let's start making sure we're going to use. There we go. Oh, hi, guys. This is going to be funny. They're going to be, like, wandering down this way, and I'm just going to pop them out, and the heart is going to rip them apart. It's going to be brilliant. Oh my god, we get the Overlord upgrades. Speed, transportation, increased sight range. That's what I live for. Surprise! Actually, this actually turned out really badly. That was actually one of the worst decisions I could have made. That actually killed most of the Hydro base. That was dumb. I regret it now. Um, let's make some Hydras. Now we kind of have them. Um... Six more hydro lists. That's actually really bad. Um, I think I'm underestimating how many fire bats they're willing to use. And that was actually kind of dumb. What I should have done was try to attack them while they were staging instead of waiting for them to build up their four floors. That was a little bit silly. Uh, you guys are not moving. There we go. Okay. I need another batch of six hydralists. Do I have three here yet? Yes, I do. Okay. There we go. We will research these overlords. Right? You get faster overlords, you get better sight range, and you get the ability to transport stuff with them. All of which are really, really good. You should be hatching any second now. Alright, give me a drone, and we're going to need the drone for, um... For a spire. Because I'm going to build hydralisks in this level. Also, that they're eating the minerals, but they're not. 
Maybe they are. Okay. We're gonna start with faster overlords because they're so slow that if we're gonna use them as scouts or anything like that, they need to be faster. I mean, it's it just has to happen. If we unlock all the upgrades here. Man. Do I want another batch of Hypers or another batch of Zerglings? Or do I want a batch of Mutalisks? So a full batch of Hydralisks 12 would be 450 minerals. Um, and gas too, but the gas is, is rarely the limiting factor. Um, but it would be 600 for Mutalisks. Maybe we make another batch of six Hydralisks, and then we'll start working. Once I get another full batch of 12 Hydralisks, then we'll start working on Mutalisks, I think. Here we go. Bam. Bam. I love having two hatcheries. It's just so wonderful. Ooh, only 150 away from having another a full group of zero points up here. Sure. You got larvas sitting around here doing nothing. Lazy bastards. Make us some zerglings. Three. And we'll just let things build up and then finish, then fill out this group as well. Okay, fly up here over the road. Evolution complete. Well, I think we just unlocked the faster movement. Very nice. Our charity had a full group of them. Whoopsie. Or close to it. That's fine. Go get him, Zerglings. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who's using siege tanks? That's cheating. You sneaky little bastards. Using siege tanks and siege mode and everything. That's what Zerglings are for, though. This is no... This is no... Psychologically to me, and I can't prove if this is true or not, but it seems to me that the AI responds more slowly if they don't see all your units. This is purely guesswork on my part. Since you came up there faster, let's actually get in here. I just want to see where their base is. If I can get like a tiny glimpse of their base. Oh, there's another attack force right up there. Okay, there's a missile turret. That's their base. Or it's part of their base. Please don't tell me I'm off by exact... Oh, here we go. I want you up here. We're going to build another group of Zerglings. No, we need Mutalisks. I promise Mutalisks, Mutalisks will be delivered. Amateurs. Let's keep doing some scouting, just so I can kind of see what there is in here. Yeah. Let's 
we're going to wait till we hit 600, and so we can build six Mutalisks at once. And then I think we're going to go ahead and make our attack. Um, I want to send you actually back into scouting mode. I just want to find the first place I could practically... Um, okay. So I think we might have actually triggered this group prematurely. I keep forgetting Mutalisks are also to supply each. That's why like Mutalisks are a little bit underpowered. Um, compared to other Zerg units, they're just not that great. In my opinion. Um, they're like the Vulture. Although, as we saw in the Terran campaign, admittedly, Vultures do have a purpose. Their purpose is just a little bit more limited than we might like. Um, I'm not convinced Mutalisks have a purpose other than to become... God damn it. Pain in the ass. Um... Like, if you get a bunch of them, they can do a lot of damage. Like most Zerg units. But pound for pound, I'd almost rather have Hydralisks. Because Hydralisks are cheaper, and you can build more of them. That's just me, though, maybe. Alright, guys. Taking a lot of damage. This is gonna be tough. I think we almost needed more Zerglings, so we're actually gonna build the Zerg we're actually gonna build the Hydralis and the Zerglings at about the same time. That was actually a really bad, and this is again one of the reasons where I think the Zergs suffer. Because they had so many siege tanks, and because I didn't have enough Mutalisks, arguably, um, they just tore through that force. And I did a lot of damage, but not nearly enough. Um, let's actually go ahead and build another hive up here. All forces are under attack. Because of course they are. Alright, get up here, Hydras. I need you. At least they don't have freaking, um, what's your jigger? Cloak. Get my second batch of Hydras and Captain Well, Let's get some Mutalisks. I almost think we need more Mutalisks. This is going to sound weird after I just sat down and ragged them. But Mutalisks are going to be the only thing to really effectively deal with the siege tanks in this area up here.
actually, this is going to take a while to build everything up. Let's take a quick moment and just kind of scout and see exactly how much damage we did. Still a siege tank there. That's not great. I think they rebuilt almost everything. No, I don't think we ever saw that. That's the problem with, um, Mutalisks. I think we almost need 24 Mutalisks. I genuinely do. Because of the nature of this map. I think we need it. I think we need the full... We need at least 12 Mutalisks. I'm still convinced I think we need 24. Um, just because so many things here are so well defended with Siege Tanks... Mutalisks are currently our best counter. Now we'll get other ones that are even better later on down the road, but it'll take us a while to get there. Yeah, I know. Alright. If gas is holding things up, now we're going to build a geyser over here. Our refinery over here. Yeah, Mutalisks are going to have to be our anti-siege tank force. Because, I mean, siege tanks can kill, like, 12 Zerglings if the Zerglings can't get up there quickly enough. How are you doing, you stupid drone? Just go around. I could just build a shit ton of more Hydralisks, I guess. Okay, so we have... We need six more, which is a lot more gas. We have the minerals already. I'm gonna spend a little bit of mineral right now. I want a second sunken colony, like right up here. Because this covers so much ground and they keep using this as their main attack route because I think it's their best choice. That if we can effectively cut them off, we'll have a much easier time of it. Where'd you go, drone? Here you are. This will definitely be our last mission for this episode, just because we've had two entire attack forces wiped out. Um, and the problem is, is that it's hard to micromanage enough to take siege tanks out. Unless we just make, like, a shit ton of zerglings, too. It might actually be our next, our next idea. Is, um, finish with the mutalisks, and then build, like, 24 or even 48 zerglings. I want the Fumitalisks done first, though, because they'll be the most expensive. Go! Go! Here's our new sunken colony. That'll help a little bit. Yeah, we're going to make a lot of Zerg. I think that's our best bet for countering all these siege tanks. Let me get you down to our other base. The other problem was having to force Mealus to take on missile turrets, which is really a mismatch. I have my 
300 minerals, build another set of zerglings. Yeah, I think we're going to want 36 zerglings. I think that'll be what makes the difference this time around. As much as I love Hydralisks, if they have that many siege tanks, we just need to hit them as quickly as we can. And zerglings are the way you do that. We're also running low on minerals. I'm going to grab you guys and send you up here. Hello, Group 4. Actually, almost we might actually like mine all the minerals we can get access to, which is actually really unfortunate because it'll make our lives a lot harder. But there's not much we can do about it, except win this time. Alright, ridiculous numbers of Zergling strategy. You are only hope. Come on, Hatch. Hatch, you stupid Zerg eggs. There we go. Hello, Group 5. Let's, I don't think it'll matter. Shit. Okay. Maybe we're like hitting like the hardest part, but I mean this is ridiculous. We've just had like two entire attack forces wiped out. Kind of by default lost this mission. Sure. 
Let's scout this way. I think that might have been the problem. I think it might have been there was a more vulnerable part of his base, and I went directly through the hardest part. I just needed to save up and just build up disgusting numbers of mutalisks. I don't mind you taking a little bit of damage, actually. We have a new objective. Oh, uh, no we don't. Uh, kind of we do, yeah. yeah we were actually kind of dumb, actually. This should have been the way we went. Let's build ourselves up a nice force and actually go hit this portion, and then we can access these minerals. That'll make our lives a little bit easier, too. We need to start off with Hydralis. Yeah, I want Hydralisks and a bunch of Zerglings, and then we're going to hit this base up here in the corner. I think we should have actually done that first. Um, if StarCraft had auto saves, I would actually have done it. the worst possible shape, but we're in pretty bad shape, I'm gonna be honest with you. We've taken a lot of damage and spent a lot of resources attacking the absolute strongest part of their base. Whereas we could have been taking away their starport, and then they wouldn't have been able to build wraiths anymore. And that would have gotten rid of their major counter to uh, mutalisks. Well, marines too. Um, and I can't really stop them from building marines, unfortunately. Now, we're going to try to do this on the cheap. We're going to try to use these 12 Hydralisks and 24 to 36 Zerglings and try to hit this eastern base. If we can drop it, great. If we lose everything again, however, I think what we might actually do is we might actually end this episode and then try Mission 3 again from the beginning in a future episode. Because there's just not... There's not a lot of options if we use all the minerals on the map. Um, see, right now, um, minerals are now the big stopping point. It's not even that the base is big. It's just they had just so many sea tanks. They had about... 12 or, th or 12 or 15 siege tanks just sitting there. And without guardians, which we don't have yet, there's not an easy way to take on siege tanks from the air. I mean, Middalisks can do it with no damage, but they also mixed in enough marines. It's actually just a really well-defended position that we're going to kind of have to do an end around on. So we're going to see what happens. Um, we're going to see what happens with this minor attack. And if we fail, if we fail, we're gonna call it here as a defeat, and then we will uh, we'll come back to it next episode. Just, just uh, we'll start again from episode three, and then we will try to get in episode four as well, because I think we're already well over the hour time limit now, and it's just not working out for us right now. It's just not working out for us right now. Tanks are just too good, and we don't have the best counter yet. Ultralux are also a pretty good counter to siege tanks, but um, the best one is Guardians.
And I think the other thing we have to do is we have to make sure we prioritize the siege tanks with... Alright. So here's what I'm doing. We have to attack this way. If we see a siege tank, all the Zerg guns are going to hit it. wanted to we can't set up here we're way too close to their base it would just be a matter of time before they'd find us and just wipe us out i think we're going to call it for this episode i just don't think that there's we have access to enough minerals to actually win this map at this point i think we just had too many silly attacks and i think if we'd actually gone after this portion from the beginning and worked our way to the west, we would have had a much easier time of it. That's at least my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here. Um, next episode we'll actually replay this mission, but we'll do it again from the beginning, and we will more appropriately guide our forces in the right direction. We'll try to hit them here, swing to the left, and, uh, and take them out. Instead of this part down here, which was just, just so many siege tanks, and so little of that was actually valuable. It makes more sense to hit them here, build a base here, and then push to the west. Um, but that'll have to be for next episode. So hope you have enjoyed this episode. Um, a bit of a setback. But that's what I mean when I said that they ramp up the difficulty a little bit more under the Zerg missions. And this was just me doing the same thing over and over again. And I really need to make sure that we have a dedicated group of Zerglings or two that only attack siege tanks. And I just let the Hydralisks and the Mutalisks do whatever they want, and I focus on the Siege Tanks. I think that's the best way for us to succeed at this point in the game. But I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if there's anything else you would have done differently. But until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.